Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit of a different one. I actually won a competition very recently where I won a $500 gift voucher to spend on plants. So I thought I'd do a mini little haul and show you guys what I got with my $500 voucher. So a bit of a backstory. So what happened is I entered a competition on Instagram. I do it quite regularly. I've actually run a few other things from Instagram competitions before, but nothing as like massive as this. So basically what happened was I won a competition with one runner. I'll pop the tag up the top if you want to check their Instagram out. And basically they were just asking people to tag their favourite plant stores and the tag that you won for you got a voucher for that store so my tag was one of the tags that got chosen and won and I had tagged the plant project so I basically thanks to plant runner won $500 to spend on plant project which is like amazing for those of you who don't live in New Zealand or if you haven't heard of the plant project before they're an online store here in New Zealand who sell lots of amazing plants they also often one of the first stores in New Zealand to put out new cheap releases of things. For example, Thai Constellation used to be thousands and thousands of dollars and not many people had them until the Plant Project released them maybe two or three years ago, a couple of years ago anyway, at a more decent price of I think they were $500 and now they're more like between $300 to $400 on their plant store. They quite often sell second grade as well, which are often cheaper, so just not as great variegation. They were also the first plant store in New Zealand to initially release Hoya Australis Lisa, which previously it was like very hard to find them. And if you did get one, the cuttings were like hundreds, if not a thousand dollars. And then they released quite large specimens for around $150, I think it was, something like that. I actually got my Hoya Australis Lisa from them too in one of their first releases of that. I don't really have heaps to say about Plant Runner as unfortunately I don't, I haven't really, like I just don't know heaps about them. But I, what I do know is that they sell some plant food and things like that which are meant to be amazing and I've heard so many great things about their products. I've never personally tried them but I've not heard anything bad. So yeah, definitely check them out. And yeah, we'll just get started. So basically, I bought, I think, six or seven plants with my voucher, as well as a couple of pots. So I'll show you the things that I got. Most of them are pretty common. Actually, probably all of them are very common. Some of them I've never had before. Most of them I already actually have, but I bought more of the plant because I wanted to add it into my pot, as you know I love doing. And for free, I was like, why not? I've been tempted to buy extras of certain plants in the past, but was just like, there's such a waste of money, you know? So, because they weren't exactly super cheap plants. So this way I got the plant, extra plants that I wanted but I didn't have to pay for it basically and I also got a few plants that I've had in the past but I don't currently have because I might have killed them or sold them before I moved house and had more plant space so yeah I'll show you guys what I got one of the plants that I got was this Lingonium Mojito isn't he beautiful so he's quite a big one so I do already have one of these. I have one that's just up there. It's got about four, three or four nodes. This one has quite a few more and it's a lot taller. It's also got some really interesting leaves. So most of the leaves on my mojito look like this. Um, but I don't have any leaves that look like this. So it, that's kind of cool that I got kind of a mixture of these like mottled brighter variegation compared to the like lighter variegation I think that's just environment and sunlight but anyway so I'm going to add this into the pot of my Sagona Mojito that I already have I might even trim it up a bit maybe re maybe root some cuttings and then pop them back into the pot so it's even fuller it's very tall and lanky and I kind of want my Sagona Mojito to be quite full so yeah that's the Sagona Mojito that I purchased from the plant project. 
and I believe he was only about $50. Most pretty much all of the plants that I got were around the $50 mark, just so you know. And the pots I got were all around between $25 to $30, $35. So yeah, that's the kind of the general prices that they were. The next plant that I got was one that I already have once again, but I wanted to get a slightly fuller one. So it is this Pothos Manjula, which are stunning. I absolutely love these. So I do have a small cutting of this, which has about two or three leaves maybe, which obviously I plan to add into this pot. But he's very cute. This one has one, two, three, four. A couple nodes and a few different growth points so it should hopefully eventually when it grows a bit bigger bush out and trail a bit more but for now it is really really cute and it's got stunning variegation but yeah I'll add the other manjula that I have into that pot I've just got it in this pot which is not one that I purchased from the plant project I actually got this pot from Spotlight for like two or three dollars it was really good so Anyway, he's just chilling in this pot at the moment until I re-pot him. So yeah, he is very cute. So, Pothos Man Jeweler. Okay, another plant that I got. I got the pot and the plant. So this is a Saturn Pothos Argerius. I've had one of these before. Never one this big. My other ones all got root rot. I've had like two. And I feel like there's a silvery and like strand in here because that looked very silvery and to me. So I'm not sure if there's just accidentally a strand of silvery and in there. I don't know. But anyway, so he is beautiful, super lush. I love satin and pothos. I want to have like all the satin and pothos that you can get. So I had to get one of these to replace um, the one that I had that died. This one's really full and lush. I love how it sits. The one that I had before, it sat really funny and it didn't look that great. So this is kind of like even better. I also got the pot, which I'll show you a bit better, which I think is pretty cute. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if these pot combinations are gonna stay like this, but it's just what I've done for now. But yeah, this pot is really cool. I think it was, save the price. I think it was like, this was the most expensive pot that I got. But yeah, it's very cool. I just thought it looked real interesting on the week side. So I got one. And it looks really cute with the satin pothos. But I'm wondering if I put something else in it where you can see more of the pot. Because it kind of just covers the pot. So I might do a little bit of a swap around. But it's okay. It's just chilling for now. And that will, that'll do. Okay, another plant that I got was this philodendron birkin. I've never really had a philodendron birkin before. I didn't really like them, but I've kind of they've kind of grown me and recently I really wanted one. So anyway, I got this philodendron birkin. I've been looking at them at the shops, but they're either like way smaller than this but more expensive, or they just look really sad. So I'm really stoked that this one is really full. Like it's got so many growth points. It looks really really nice like it's got some really cute variegation and the leaves all look stunning it's nice and full and it was free but even if it wasn't free it was still a pretty good price it was I think it was like 40 40 dollars which is kind of the average price of philodendron and Birkins at the moment but like this to me is more what I want to pay for 40 dollars as opposed to like a couple of leaves is what I've been seeing I've also got it living in this pot at the moment. Again, I don't know if it will be its permanent pot, but this is another pot that I got from the plant project. So this is real cute as well. If you can see a theme, I kind of went for like a gold bronzy kind of theme. I don't know. I just thought they were really cool. I've looked at them on their plant store before and I've just never bought really any of their pots because that or I'm just like I'd rather spend the money on plants but since I was free I just got a couple of the pots that I've been eyeing up for a while and this is one of them so yeah he is super super cute I'm wondering if I put, take him to my office at work I'm not sure yet and he might end up living in my office at work but yeah not sure we'll see and then next, this one has got glitter all over it from, I think, either the pot I just was showing you or the pot that the Argerius was in. But anyway, also got a Calathea orbifolia. So she is beautiful and lush. She's very cute. 
I've had one of these twice before. This is my third one and I kind of, it was a last minute. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I had a little bit of money left. So I thought I would just get her and see how we go. Um, I do a lot better with my color fair than I did in the past. I'm hoping that I'll keep her alive this time. I mean, both of the others, they just completely died. But this time I have light for her. I know how to care for color fairs generally. So I'm hoping that she will do better and not die this time. So stay tuned. But it would be nice if she didn't have so much glitter on her. <laughs> but I like can't get it off. But also, I got the pot that she's in as well, which is very cute. I really like this pot. It's actually probably my favourite pot, even though it's the most simplest of the pots that I got. It was also the cheapest, I think. I really like this pot. I might get some more pots like that. Because yeah. I think it's super cute and it goes really well with this color there so I might just keep her in, in here I think oh yeah I love that great combination I love color theo portfolio yeah, I hope I can keep her alive because I love having these in my collection when they're looking lovely and beautiful and lush but I've just always had issues with them so I'm hoping Hoping we'll be okay this time. This time she'll have light. In the past, I, my old portfolios often were in quite low light situations, which I don't think they really appreciated. And I think they just got root rot both times. It was probably overwatering. But um, so yeah, now that I keep pretty much all my plants in clear pots, I over water a lot less frequently than I used to so she will eventually go into a clear pot so I can keep an eye on it and make sure I'm not over watering her but yeah she's stunning <laughs> love her okay the next plant I already have one of these but this is one of the plants I was talking about I also want to add this into my pot so I got another certain pothos exotica she's pretty long and beautiful with huge leaves so yeah, I've already got one of these, who lives in my bedroom, and I just wanted to get another one to add to the one I've got in my bedroom, which is looking really nice at the moment. I'd really like a nice full one of them and a more trailing. So yeah, I plan on adding this guy to my pot of my other certain Pothos Exotica, and hopefully having an even fuller plant than I have now. But yeah, like how beautiful are these leaves though, I love satin pothos. I know that it's not actually satin pothos, it's actually an epiprimnum, but a lot of people just call them satin pothos, but like how can you not love them? Look at these leaves and the velvety, like they're just so good. Okay next I got a plant that I've had twice before, I'm actually real gutted, I had a really nice golden pothos that was doing really well, and then I bought another one from the plant project which was stunning, had such amazing variegation. So I gave the one that I originally had to my mum, she promptly killed it, and meanwhile the new one that I got got Roy and it died, so I ended up with no golden pothos. So I got another one from the plant project. It's not as big or as bushy as the one I got last time. It seems to be very hit and miss with the Golden Pothos. Like, it, she's still beautiful. She's still really lush and she's still got some beautiful variegation. Don't get me wrong, but the one I had got before this from Plant Project was just like next level. Like, so good. So I think it just depends on what they have in stock at the time. And unfortunately, you never know. So sometimes you get like this and sometimes you just get the like super amazing ones like it was just so gold and way fuller and longer than this as well with bigger leaves but anyway i love golden pothos so happy to have goldie back in, in my collection like you can't have a plant collection and not have a golden pothos they're just like the og plant you know like i feel like everyone should have one they're just super beautiful but super underrated and the last plant that I got from the plant project was this Cebu Blue Pothos. It is real big. I didn't expect it to be this big. I really need to repot it though. It's got lots of roots coming out the bottom. And ever since it arrived, I've just been picking off yellow leaves like no tomorrow. And I think that's partly because it was, I don't think it shipped well. I don't think it liked being in a box. As long as it was, I think it got real hot. I was super thirsty when I took it out of the box, like really thirsty. All the leaves were curled up, so I think that, yeah, it just was really dehydrated when it came, and it's still recovering from that, and then I think it just needs a good repot. 
So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with it because like, do I trail it up or do I let it hang down? I don't really know. I mean, it's so long, like I don't even know how I trail it upwards at this point. So yeah, I have to think about that. But anyway, huge. I do have some cuttings of Seba Blue, but they're only like two leaves. So when I had the opportunity to get a large one for free, I was like, why not? And like it, it is huge. Even if I need to chop it up and prop it, I'm still going to be like way better off than it was before. But I'm hoping I won't need to do that. It's also got some leaves that are already fenestrating, whereas the cuttings that I had were still very small and juvenile. So yeah, that is the CB Blue. I can't fit the whole thing in the frame. It's too big. So hopefully it will look better once I've given it a bit of attention and some TLC. So yeah, unless I'm forgetting any, but I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure that's all the plants I got. Just looking around the room to make sure I didn't miss any. No, pretty sure that's all the plants I got. I definitely thought at first that I would get way more plants for $500 than I did, but I guess I could have if I didn't get any pots as well. I probably could have got one or two more plants at least. Uh, but for the quality and like the size and yeah, I, like I don't mind, it's all good. I'd rather spend less money and get huge plants from Plant Project than spend the same amount of money but and get more plants but not as good quality from like somewhere else. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of all of that. So yeah, there's uh, my plants and yeah. So if you like my video, please give it a like and you know the drill. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!